<laughs> well, hi. So this is the house tour. And uh, a friend of mine said she really enjoyed um, house hunting on Home and Garden Network, HGTV. So let's start it like that. Let's pretend I am, what would be a good name for somebody house hunting? Kristen, I am Kristen, and uh, I sculpt biological sculptures out of dryer lint that I collect from public laundromats. And um, my dog Coco is CEO of her own cat litter cleaning company. And so our budget is only $5 million. So let's see what we can get for our money. So we will start at the entry. This is the entry to our apartment. It is on the fourth floor of um, a building built during Khrushchev's times in here in Kiev. And um, you come through this door. There's a second door here. And you are greeted by a lovely little, <laughs> little um, French bulldog who I should have named Grumbledore, but I didn't. And there's Grumbledore probably deciding she should pee on that rug. Who knows? I first decided that this would be my apartment when I came into this entryway. I loved the cupboards there. I loved that there's a little hanging place there. I had this little cupboard and that's where we keep all of Coco's things and we've got shoes there. Um, so you come in and this is the entryway. Excuse me, Grumbledore. Um, you've got some decorative shelves there, and that's where the internet thing is. I did like that there's a cupboard here for shoes. That's a pretty cool thing. And this is the bottom part down here, um, and the bottom two drawers are for Coco. Then in here is cleaning supplies. This is an odd little closet. You have to open the doors in a certain order, um, but it goes all the way back. There's hats up there and then all my winter hats and things and then coats and jackets and m more shoes. Somebody we know likes shoes. And uh, then we've just got this little shelving unit here. I put all my perfumes there. I did like that right here is a powder room. Oh, open it. And, uh, oh, hi. <laughs> it's just a toilet and sink, but it's nice that you can come in and wash your hands, especially in this time of COVID. So when I come in with Coco after being outside and she's been petted by Lord knows who, um, then we wash our hands and Coco, that's what the baby wipes are there for. Coco gets her face wiped because she has a wrinkly face. And then this is the kitchen. Now when I have to put Coco somewhere where she is um, safe, like when delivery people come, or maybe delivery people are safe from her, um, I can close this off and she can be in here. I tried to make sure there is a cocoa bed in every um, area of the house. So this is the cocoa bed here. Can you tell who's important in this, this relationship? There's a lovely bright window here. I love, it's a little echoey in here yet, but once I get things hung and arranged, um, I think it'll be fine. I love this little dining area. It means I can have guests. I've invited guests, but no one's taken me up on it yet. I'm starting to feel rejected. Um, I have a very nice view down to the street below. Um, I can open this big window or I can open these little windows. Right now everything's closed up, it's really hot. So the air conditioning is on. And there's my owl picture and my flower crown. That owl picture, by the way, has a lovely story to it. And I will tell that to you someday. So and that's kind of, Coco came and um, this is my old water um, jug d distribution thing. Um, that's almost empty, so that's going to go away because in this apartment, 
we have this lovely thing where you put the water in and you can see there's a hot water and a cold water. And so I can just make my tea or my instant coffee or whatever right from there. And the cold water is actually cold. And yep, I have a little shelf with wine and spirits and that kind of thing. So this is the kitchen. As you can see, it has much more counter space than I had before. And so I like that I can do that. Um, it actually has inspired me to um, cook more and, and be more active in the kitchen, because why not? So then back out to the entryway, where Coco is busy killing something. There she is, she is killing her llama in the living room. Coco killed the llama in the living room with her head. <laughs> it's like a, a clue game. Anyway, so this is the living room. There's some things that I will change in here. So far I have no artwork up, but I hope to get some of my photographs printed and we'll get those up. There's this um, cabinet, I guess you would call it. Um, there's a space for a very large screen TV. Probably I will not avail myself of that. I tend to watch everything on my computer, so. But I do hope to put in this corner, you can see there's a little hassock there. Um, I'm going to put an easy chair or a lounge chair of some sort. So when I come home from a hard day's work, I can relax. But this couch opens up to a bed in case you're thinking of visiting. Um, the coffee table came with me. I, lo I like that coffee table. Hi. No, I don't want to throw your llama right now. We're, I'm kind of busy. So in this house, in this room, you saw there's Coco's toys in the corner and her big soft bed in that area. And then over in this computer area and where I also have room to put my yoga mat and my, my Pilates ball, um, there's another, <laughs> another bed for Coco. And this is my computer area. So you can see I have a bigger monitor. And so this is where I watch like Netflix or whatever it is I'm watching. And I can, and yes, those plants are real. And Cher has asked if there's bets as to how long it'll take me to kill them. But you never, I, but the housekeeper, um, the housekeeper waters them. So maybe we'll be, and I have a view there of the main gate to the school. So I can take a look and see what's going on down there. Or like when I go to get my um, purple cow order, it's right there. So I can see if they're there or not. So that's the living room. And this is where I'm hoping to hang some of my photographs. I thought, and look at all these things. Every one of those things has a story too. Can you imagine? Cher saw that and said, are those all yours? And I said, yeah, they are. <laughs> so then it's another long hallway. There are doors that I could put back on here and close, but I do like it open. Michelle, who lived here before me, had them take them off there in the balcony. Um, and I like that idea. I think that's just fine. And then this is the other bathroom where there is a washer and other, you know, things and sink we can come through and then a shower tub arrangement kind of, oh I, I never noticed those were elephants before that's for you share um and it's a little tub well you know kind of standard but i'm used to a tub about twice that size so that's kind of a shock for me like most i think this particular machine will do drying but most europeans don't use dryers they don't understand the the reason for dryers, when you can just hang them and dry your things for free. And I've kind of come to that same conclusion. So this is the guest room. And there's the bed for Coco in this room. Um, I'm making this pretty much my dressing room. So things are hung there. I still have some empty shelves I haven't decided what to do with. And there she is. And um, there's an, a runner that goes in the hallway that um, the Varys gave to me when they left Koshitsa and um, Coco promptly peed on it. So it's been washed, it's drying there. And then <laughs> there's Coco heading down to the living room. 
And then this is my bedroom. This is, um, it needs painting. I think I'll take the gold stickers down. They're, they're very whimsical and I enjoy them, but no. And there's Coco's Moroccan leather bed. Um, I liked this room because there's lots and lots of light. It comes from the balcony and even at night because of the lights on the street, it's not dark in here. And I know many people really need a dark place to sleep. I don't, I, I know I have to have a night light, but here I don't need one because it's light enough. And then every, well not every, but every apartment I've had has some sort of balcony. It's usually used for storage as you can see, but I can also look out and um, if I sat out here, unless maybe I sat on this bench, I couldn't really see outside. Oh, I could sit up here though. I, and then you can see outside. And again, if I go over to that and I can see down the street to the gate, um, this is my street, Sviatushinsky Prohulok. Um, I love saying that, but I probably say it wrong. This is my house. It is, this is where I, I live. <laughs> and Coco, and Coco, who's out here going, what are you doing, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Um, yeah. This is, I, I love the view. I'm not quite at treetop, as you can see there's treetop, but fourth floor gives me a, a better view. I have windows on, on facing a, a couple different directions so I can get a cross breeze going in here, which is nice. There's no breeze today. You can see the trees are pretty still, so it's really hot. And that's the tour. Step down. Oh, Coco brought her antler remnant, which she places pretty strategically where I will step on it. And now she's gonna go and destroy my, my unicorn slippers, I think, they we're after those. So, that's the house. I love this jewelry organizer. I've had that since Koshitsa. And then if you look over here, in here, I organize my earrings in um, old egg and candy cartons so I can see them. And people think that's pretty funny, but hey, it works. <laughs> So there, I have some plans for some things to change um, or add to. Coco's like, okay, let's go in here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you have questions, let me know. I'm going to go have a piece of apple pie.